Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk to you about secure and insecure ECDSA signatures. First of all, we have here the five signatures that Satoshi has ever signed in the blockchain, in the Bitcoin blockchain. And this is the public key, his public key from block nine, where he used it to sign five transactions uh, in one of the blocks. I have here the messages that were signed by Satoshi. We have here one, two, three, four, five, five messages, five uh, transactions that were signed by Satoshi. And this is the hexadecimal format of the message that was actually signed. So we can get the text here and go to any uh, any SHA-256 uh, solver and put it there and it will bring, of course, we, we have to put here in hexadecimal, not in uh, text format. So we have the hash of this text. And if we compare here, we have the same uh, out, outcome of the hash. And if we double this hash, we will have the second hash of the message that Satoshi put. And this is the Z element of our signature. So to have a CDSA signature, we have these three elements here. The Z element that comes from the message, the R element that comes from a random number, and an S element that includes also the private key information that is not open here, but we can just verify it. And we have these uh, four elements here. So we we to verify the signature if it's uh, is true or not, we just uh, compare it to the public key. We we use it. We get the public key and we compare uh, in a mathematical uh, verification. We carry a mathematical verification, and if it uh, verifies. It's okay, the signature is valid. So to verify the signature, we'll come here in this didactic site that I have built here, just to verify if we can find the public key here. If we can find the public key from the signature elements, so the signature verifies. Let's come here and bring the Z information to the site first the z information and then the r information and now let's get the s information here all in hexadecimal format to use here in my site and we just Extract here and here we have the Satoshi public key of block 9 that I have showed you here in this text. It's here also. The same public key. So it verifies the signature. It's okay. And we have these artifacts here, A and B. As you can see here, uh, they, they have a good entropy. Uh, format uh, we don't we don't find any meaning in these artifacts here but we can use these artifacts to rebuild the signature without the need of the message without the need of the private key we just use these two artifacts here and we can rebuild that signature I will bring them here and we'll 
place here just to have this information here, okay? And this uh, second S is just uh, a second option that can be used to the same signature that is derived from this first S that uh, is the real S that was published there in the, the blockchain, okay? So let's come here and bring this information here, the information of the public key. I'll bring, I'll come here my site again, and now let's go here in this button called CDSA forgery. So we place here the public key, and we also bring here those A and B artifacts that we just uh, extract from that the first signature, from the published signature, and we can rebuild that same signature. Look, let's let's compare it. We have here Z R and S one. Here we have the same elements here as you can compare, and we can use the those artifacts A and B to rebuild those signatures without the need of the mast, the hash of the mast, and without the need of the private key. So, but it's not uh, easy. It, they, they are they are they are not. Uh, uh, easy to find the to 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 make to extract these artifacts. Actually, you have to have the signature if you want to rebuild the same signature. You cannot use a random numbers here to rebuild uh, a signature unless you are talking about very great look that you, you may have. And here we have. Uh, also, all these two signatures that were signed here, and each of them, let's bring here the signature elements. Let's bring here in my site again, and you can just come here and you see the SA2 public key. So we place here the Z element and the R element of this second signature and the S element here also. We bring them here and we just ask it to extract. All of the, the signature will be related to the public key of block nine that Satoshi used, that Satoshi signed uh, once in the blockchain. And as you can see, you will get different artifacts here of A and B value, okay? So they have uh, no meaning, but are tied, straightly tied to this signature you just placed here. We can, you cannot change any bit and get the same signature here. So you can try, I will, I will leave you the link for you to test. This all this signature here, I will just stop at the true signature so you can you can verify all the five uh, signatures here there in my site. And now let's talk about insecure ECDSCA signature. Let's switch to insecure signatures, and I have here three signatures that you will put forth. Uh, in the year 2018 and we have uh, we have here also this third signature this these two first two signatures are related to block 9 to public key of block 9 also this also related to the public key of block 9 and this last one is related to the public key of Genesis block. 
so you just can go to the blockchain and verify it any chain uh, you can use btc bch or bsv you can verify in all uh, chains of uh, derived from bitcoin so here we have you can go here in the internet and search for these links here is the first signature made put forth in 2018 this is the second one this you can find here also in the internet and this is the third one here you can just find here i i i put all them in text format and you can just uh, use them you can just use them as i put it to you here and you can go to my site and get any of these three signatures and you can go there and see if they verify if they are related to the they are related to the public key they say they are and verify it let's uh, let me just come here and nope this other text here so i will bring first the z element i'll bring z now i'll bring r And now I will bring the S element here. And let's extract the element. And the, we can find here the public key of block nine. It's okay. And you can find these artifacts here. Uh, what calls the attention first is because you can produce the signature anyway okay you can use any number here uh, between one and a n number and but this artifact here is very uh, easy is a, a very easy number to find in the in the elliptical elliptical curve of bitcoin this is just uh, a representation of minus one number, uh, minus one integer number. This is the representation. And what, what calls the attention is because all these three signatures that were put forth in 2018, both these related to the public key of block nine, and also the one related to the public key of Genesis block have the same B artifact. And this is just the order of the elliptical curve SecP 256 K1. So it, it, uh, uh, the end number represents the number of points of this elliptical curve. And this is the number. And if we just uh, subtract one from here, we come to this uh, number that is no, minus one that is represented by this number. So uh, what we conclude here is that this signature was produced. I don't know, we can use, uh, we can just use these artifacts as I told you to rebuild the signature you can take any one of them here let's take the public key of the genus block and come here and call forgery ecdsca and let's verify here and bring the artifacts here a and b a look a must be between zero and n and is the uh, order of the curve, elliptical curve. Let's bring this number here also. And let's place it here in B. And we just rebuild that signature that was presented in 2018. 
and these are the elements Z, R, and S. And they are the same here, Z, R, and S. So, an insecure ECDSA signature can be built only using these two artifacts and the public key, but we don't have any master tied to the signature. As we can see here, the author never put forth any message uh, because it's just uh, a very improbable thing that the signature were backed by a master. They would never repeat this number and never be a so simple number to be uh, extracted from the signature. So if you compare with the artifacts that can be extracted from a real ECDSA signature, they have a very good, um, very good entropy, we can say, uh, in, on its bits, and it will now not bring any simple number unless uh, we have a very great look to, to produce that. So, this is the difference between a secure ECDSA signature and the insecure ones. So, you can check here in my site, you can use it to explore all these uh, mathematical things. You just bring the signature you, you want here in hexadecimal format and you can build any forgery you want to with any public key of any 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 public key you you have it's available in on the internet you can use all of the satoshi's public keys to produce any forgery you want so i will leave you here now see you next time may god bless you all